Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with yet another video for you. And uh, as you've probably already seen on the title, we're going to be having a look at the Gigabyte P67 uh, UD7 board. This is the top of the range Sandy Bridge board uh, for launch. Um, because of Intel NDA, there's a few things I'm not allowed to say, there's a few things that I'm not allowed to show you, so I can't take the uh, board apart yet and I've got to leave the plastic in the CPU socket. I've been given a bit of a rap knuckle for a couple of the other things that I've done recently, but it's just because um, of what we were showing at the time. But anyway, I'm going to uh, bring the camera in and uh, start getting this thing unboxed uh, so that we can have a good look at it because this is uh, the top of the range board from Gigabyte and it's also one of the new sexy black boards. So let's get me to be quiet and get you in for a look. Well then guys, first look at the box. I don't care how much you moan, uh, I'm going to do this all properly and uh, in depth as much as possible. Uh, yeah, first look at the box. Um, basically, uh, if you have a look uh, on the heat sinks, you can see the uh, uh, gold accents. Well, the gold accents are also carried on uh, on the box. And as you can see, there's a, it's a lovely gold mirror effect. And basically, the gold denotes that it's uh, the UD7. Um, and shows it's top of the range board. Basically, the different colours will then correlate with the uh, different uh, model numbers. Um, so it's a really, really good branding idea from Gigabyte. Uh, but also, rather than having uh, loads and loads of colour on the board, um, they've gone for the black. If we have a look on the back... Uh, there's a wealth of information, um, so just to pick out a few because I don't really want to bore you with uh, loads and loads of it, 24 phase um, power for the CPU, uh, it's got the 333, so USB 3, um, it's got something called USB Power 3, SATA 3, so SATA um, 6 gigabits a second. Uh, it's all on about the on-off charge and the fact that it can uh, support three-way graphics. Um, I can't really talk to you too much about the uh, speed of the lanes because of the uh, um, uh, the NDAs. And I'm also not 100% aware whether it's got a uh, NF200 chip on there or not to be able to you know, support full three-way SLI. But I'm sure we'll find out in due course. If we come around the front, the front does actually unclip, and you should be able to see the motherboard through there, but I've uh, already had it out taking photos, so let's uh, pop the uh, actual package open so we can see what's inside. And basically, if I move the box out of the way, that's going to be your first look at the board inside, but I, I'm going to tease you and do the uh, what's in the accessories first. So I'll move the board out of the way. Now, there's not a lot of accessories in this, but mainly um, because this is a uh, like an early press sample, so Gigabyte will be bundling more um, uh, more parts and more things uh, with. The boards when they first come out obviously we've just got like the basics which is a driver cd an sli bridge quite interested that there's not a uh, crossfire bridge in there but that doesn't mean it doesn't support crossfire it does it's just not got a bridge and then uh you've got the usual gigabyte pack for the uh um, pci plates and external satas and a couple of sata cables so we move everything out the way. The actual board itself. There we are. That's your first look at the board. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to zoom you in so that you can. Uh, I will move the board about so you can have a good look around it. That's your overview so that you can see uh, the board complete. If we uh, zoom you in now, what I'm going to do is take you slowly round 
the um, board and then you can have a good up close look. So if we move this way. So I'm very new to doing this by hand. But there you can see the, all the power phases uh, around the uh, socket. So there's a heck of a lot of power being delivered into this. Obviously we don't know yet, but you would uh, imagine that with all of the, that, those power phases, that um, the motherboard itself would be a good overclocker. If we move back a bit, I really, really like these... Um, black heat sinks and the all black PCB on the board and just these little flashes of colour are, are brilliant I really really like these if we come and move the uh, board back a bit you can see the PCI Express lanes you got uh, PCI 1 and you've got PCI Express, you've got three full length PCI Express. Obviously, if you use a juice lock card, this one will be covered up. Um, two normal PCIs, but obviously, with the spacing on these three lanes, uh, that's just the right spacing for three double slot cards. We move across. You can see the Southbridge heatsink there, and a uh, LED poster there. These two uh, headers here are being listed underneath as USB three. Um, Two and USB 3.1 so these look like they're going to be USB 3 headers um, so that's something to uh, bear in mind I need to have a look to see if that's the same as the Asus design but then you've got two normal USB 2's and then uh, all the connections there for your LEDs your uh, power switches, reset switches, everything like that and you've got three different um, SATA connectors up here. One is USB, uh, sorry, one is SATA 2 and the other is SATA 3 or SATA 6 gigabits a second. Um, but we don't know what's on what controller yet because we're not really allowed to talk about it. And then just coming back up the board, trying to keep it straight. You can see that you've got a power switch. If I put the board back down and zoom you back out again. There we go. But I really like the look of this all black board. There have been a few attempts in the past, but I think this is the one of the uh, best looking boards that I've um, ever seen, to be quite honest with you. If they do roll this out into the X58 chipset as well, I will be an extremely happy puppy. Right, let's get this video wrapped up guys. Right then guys, uh, I need to say a big thank you to Gigabyte for sending this, me this board so early. I was sending OC 3D boards so early because uh, one of the things that we need to remember is these aren't even due um, to be released uh, until January. Uh, none of the retailers have got stock of these or anything yet. This is just an immensely early sample. Um, and there's, this is, uh, I know a lot of you like me saying it, and I know a lot of you don't, but it is the first uh, 1155. Um, P67 UD7 gigabyte board up on YouTube as well. So it's the first time you've really got a decent uh, video to have a look at it. And to be quite honest with you, 
I'm really, really looking forward to working with this. Really, really looking forward to working with this. Uh, just, I can't, yeah, I, I really, it's so difficult for me because there's so much I'm um, not allowed to say at the moment and I have had a couple of rap knuckles from Intel about stuff that I've said so I've got to be very, very careful. But, there you go. One thing I have just remembered I never um, showed you was the back plate or the rear I.O. But if I just give you a quick look there, you can see USB freeze, USB free, and then you've got these yellow ones which are SATA and USB 2, and then more USBs at the top. So, and also another thing that I'll tell you is it has got uh, two NEC chips on board as well and basically that's uh, it goes through a USB hub again so that um, you will have native USB 3 on the bottom and then shared with the rest but so nice to see the baby blue gone on the higher end boards I'm, I'm actually quite a bit um, gobsmacked by how good this does look and the gold for the top of the range was a, 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 a wicked choice I mean not being funny, when was the last time we actually saw something with a bit of a gold accent on a motherboard? So refreshing to not see blue or red. So yeah, big thumbs up to kick by. I'm really looking forward to working with this. But this is Tiny Tom Logan with uh, another first look for you of the new P67 UD7 board from Gigabyte. It's time to go, so it's Tiny Tom Logan.